Tonight, two families sharing the pain after their loved ones were shot. Tonight, we're hearing from the family of Justin Johnson, who was shot by two men after police say they carried out an ambush shooting one of their own. WMER 2 News' Dave Detling is live outside police headquarters with more on Justin's story and the latest on the investigation tonight. Dave, what have you learned? Hey there, good evening, Kelly. Well, this high profile story gathering two arrests in less than 48 hours. Now, as for Justin's family, they say he was a father of five, a hard worker, always provided for his family. They say they didn't deserve to lose him like this. They drove 11 miles. 11 miles to kill my son after they had shot the officer. They drove 11 miles. In 11 miles, neither one of these guys thought to say, let's not do this. Family members of 38-year-old Justin Johnson spoke out after Baltimore police arrested and charged 31-year-old Elliot Knox and 32-year-old Trayvon Shaw. They're accused of killing the father of five in Yale Heights early Thursday morning. Just because he wasn't a police officer doesn't mean he's worth any less and our prayers and love are with Kiana's family and we definitely hope she pulls through but just the matters and he needs to be remembered too. Police say 90 minutes before Justin was shot, the two suspects carried out an ambush style shooting that left officer Kiana Holly critically injured and on life support. We have absolute uh, confessions that they did it, they were there. We don't have motive as to why. At the Curtis Bay shooting on Pennington Avenue, investigators say they found evidence that would ultimately tie the suspects to both crime scenes. What we can say is the guns did not belong to them. Um, we had information about where they were. Investigators did a masterful job uh, uncovering that and throughout the night uh, with assistance recovered those guns. We have confirmed that one of them is tied to both shooting incidents. We're still waiting on the results of the second. Baltimore Police Commissioner Michael Harrison said the combination of ballistics, cameras, and license plate readers was enough to connect suspects Knox and Shaw to the crimes. The question both victims' families have is why the men shot their loved ones. But at the end of the day, their reason isn't going to be worth it. Their reason isn't going to say, like, oh, that makes sense. Like, what they did is unforgivable. He's going to be that person who's never going to walk through my door again. He's never going to say, hi, Ma, I love you. And Shaw and Knox remained locked up. Charges include murder as well as attempted murder. We're live tonight outside Baltimore Police Headquarters. Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.